possibility. What is possible for you? Today we're going to look at the uh, logic of possibility. But we're going to start somewhere else first. Something that you might be a little bit more familiar with. And that is the logic of cause and effect. You now Newton gave us an understanding of how forces affect material. And using his formulas and calculations, we could quite accurately uh, predict what the effect would be of applying certain forces to, to objects. These definitions became so useful that some scientists and philosophers believed that we could explain all of creation through the simple uh, logic of cause and effect. According to this view, causal determinism, the present was already contained in the past and the future is already present. <laughs> In fact, there is no difference between past, present and future. There's nothing new in all of creation. There's nothing new in all of human history. If only we knew the initial conditions and all the information about uh, those, in, you know, even as far back as the Big Bang, if we just had all the f information, we could accurately predict all future events according to um, causal determinism. Everything's determined. The logic of cause and effect explains it all. Even some theologies have, uh, some forms of theologies have embrace this form of determinism and therefore in their view God is the one who at the beginning kind of fine-tuned all the parameters and then just set it all in motion. He is the unmoved mover, the initial cause. But both scientists and philosophers knew that there was something missing with this picture. It cannot explain novelty, newness. For instance, the extravagant diversity and beauty of life that we have on this planet. If the future only had the past to draw from, it would exhaust itself. There would be nothing new or nothing novel. Let's pause and just think about this for a moment. Now, in the first few billion years of this universe's existence, when there were only gases floating around before the formation of planets or stars or galaxies, do you really think that even if we had all the information available, anyone would be able to predict the enormity of planets forming, of stars forming, of life emerging, of human consciousness <laughs> emerging from these lifeless gases floating around in space. The, there's always been those philosophers and scientists who knew that there was something missing with causal determinism. And so Alfred uh, Whitehead, who was both a philosopher and a scientist, he recognized that between the causing event and the effecting event, there is a space, and he called that space... Um, a principle of creativity but there's a space for possibility there's an in a, an additional input beyond the cause that influences the outcome this principle of creativity 
is real and it is responsible for the novelty and the newness that we see in all of creation. In other words, creation is not a past event. Creation is an ongoing process and the potency, the power that that brings all of creation into being is not just some ancient mysterious being but rather a, a god that is present in every moment <laughs> in the scientific uh, community as well uh, there has been a recognition of the significance and reality of this principle of possibility in fact the heisenberg principle of uh, uncertainty is probably the best definition of that. I'll read it to you. It shows that no matter what conditions we impose on an electron, we can never know with certainty what it will do. And this is not due to a lack of information. It is because there is always more than one possibility available, no matter what conditions are imposed. Possibility is, a, is an integral part of the fabric of reality. Now, remember in uh, the Newtonian determinism, basically all we lacked is information. If we just had more information, we could accurately predict the future. But what Heisenberg showed us and proved is that even if we had all the information possible, we cannot predict because there's a, uh, with accuracy, every event, because there's this principle of possibility, this logic of possibility at work in every moment that opens up uh, um, a space for undetermined, uncertain future. <laughs> and that's good news. Can you see what this means? Oh, this means that God is not just somewhere else <laughs> separate from creation but rather God permeates all of creation he is present in every moment right now wherever you are God is the one creating possibilities opportunities that exceeds your past your your future does not have to be confined to your past. <laughs> now, this God is the one who continually invites you to participate with him in creating something that has never been before. He's the one whispering something truly new and beautiful is possible for you. Your moment, wherever you find yourself right now, your situation, is a situation in which God is present. Despite what circumstances brought you to this moment, the God of hope stands in front of you, creating possibilities. Bless you, my friend. Hey, if, if these videos are helpful to you, if they help create meaning, won't you share them with, with friends? Won't you help us to, to touch lives and help people to create meaning in their lives? And if you're able to support us, we are so appreciative of that. Thank you. Bye-bye.